give yourself a break. Hey everybody, this is Roberta Blake of RobertaBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're gonna to talk about how to not burn out on YouTube and how not to quit. This is something that's an interesting topic. A lot of you have actually been asking me things about this in the comments of other videos and I wanted to talk about it today with you. Burnout can be something that a lot of YouTubers suffer from. A lot of them end up cutting back on their content. Some of them take months off. We've seen that with some big YouTubers recently actually. And there are some people who quit and just give up altogether. And it's not because they don't have people viewing or watching or subscribing or they're not making money. A lot of people actually just quit because they don't enjoy making YouTube videos anymore. And there are a lot of reasons for that. For one thing, I think too many YouTubers, and maybe you're watching this, they get discouraged easily by their views and subscriber counts and things like that. They take it entirely too seriously instead of just remembering what they got into YouTube for in the first place. Or even worse, some of them got into YouTube specifically for views and subscribers and fame and quick money and it's not happening. So they again, quit. And you know, I'm gonna be uh, a little biased here. I think maybe some of those people should quit. A lot of you, are going to be completely disgusted with that because of the YouTube creator community ethos of, oh, don't tell people to quit or don't tell people to give up on their dreams of being a YouTuber. How dare you? Like, who are you to tell somebody they can't make it because you made it and blah, 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 into infinity. Look, I'm a pragmatist. I've never pretended that I'm not a pragmatist or a business person. I've been the person that champions and encourages creativity more than anything. But here's the thing. I also am a person who suffered from severe depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts, and I would never encourage someone to keep doing something that they hate. Insanity is repeating the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. And I don't want people to drive themselves insane over YouTube or have an unhealthy fixation with it or anything that goes along with it. I think that that's really bad. We've seen YouTubers burn out. We've seen YouTubers um, you know, ruin and destroy their lives or their relationships. We've seen YouTubers um, whose relationships were built in this community come to an end because they obsessed over YouTube and that's problematic. I think you need to have a healthy approach and a healthy perspective here. And sometimes that means stepping away. Sometimes it means stopping and taking stock of what's really important in your life. Now, as for how not to get burnt out and how not to quit, part of the answer is to not focus so much on the uh, things that you want in terms of acknowledgement and accolades in YouTube and to, again, do what you love and what you enjoy and to take a step back and take a break from it and to fill your life up with other things. You should travel, you should spend time with your friends and family, you should do the things that give you a positive outlook on life. If you're constantly stressing about, did you get a YouTube video out? Did somebody say something negative about you? Did you lose a ton of subscribers? If you focus on those things, if you let it consume you, you're going to burn out. You're not going to enjoy this anymore. If YouTube starts becoming a chore instead of something that you enjoy or love, it is time for a break before it breaks you. It is time to step away from the camera, step away from the editing bay, and do the things that bring you the most happiness and the most joy in your life that have nothing to do with YouTube. It's time to not watch other YouTubers. It's time to not look at who's doing what or do the comparison game. It's time to take a break from social media and people showing you their highlight reel of their life that has nothing to do with the reality of their struggles behind the scenes or what's going on in their mind. No, 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 no. Step back, take a break, put a kibosh on all those things. And guess what? This isn't limited to YouTube. This is like real life advice that I'm giving here for anything. Like there's a reason that sometimes I will like have to do trips and I will desperately try not to turn them into working vacations. That's hard for me. I'm a workaholic. This is advice that I have to take for myself. One of the cool things I started doing again, believe it or not, is I'd never share it with you guys in social media for a reason is I've gone back to my sketchbook and I've never been happier since I've gone back to my sketchbook because I'm drawing for me. It's one of my first loves. I'm back to what makes me the happiest person in the world, doing it and not being judged on social media for it, not worrying about likes and Instagram. I'm doing it just for me. I do not need anyone clapping up or applauding for me because I did something cool in my sketchbook. I have no interest in ever sharing any of it with any of you guys because it's something I'm keeping for me. There's an over temptation to overshare. We're called the overshare generation and it's a little bit true. It's unfortunate, but it creates this enormous pressure on people that they have to share anything or it didn't happen. They have to share everything it or it didn't matter. Picks or it didn't matter. Likes if it didn't matter. Views or it didn't matter. Subs or it didn't matter. 
you can't predicate your entire life on acknowledgement from other people. Instead, it has to be about what you feel you're personally accomplishing, what your growth is, and whether or not you feel happy in the moment. And so my advice to not burn out on YouTube is to remember what got you into YouTube in the first place, to do other things that you love, to have a grounded routine in life, and to not obsess over anything on this platform. It doesn't matter. If YouTube shuts down tomorrow, you still have to find a way to live with yourself and to have a life afterward. I think it's important to put that into context. So the best way not to quit YouTube is to not take it too seriously, take a break, remember why you got into it in the first place, to do other things that you love, fill your stuff, your, your life up with things that are not YouTube, and just remember, if you're not enjoying something, if it's becoming a chore, it's probably something you need to reevaluate and re-question your reasons behind doing it. There's so many of you that want to turn this into a job and you have to remember the far majority of people hate their jobs. Like they just do, that's a fact. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions, I'll leave those in the comment section. I hope that this like really gave you some perspective. I want you guys to have a healthy balance of how you operate as a creator. I think that's something that's so important. I don't think it's talked about enough. You have to have proper mental health. If you don't have that, then you don't really have much of anything else to look forward to because this will mess you up more than anything if you let it. And so I encourage you to stay sane and stay healthy. And if that means stepping away from YouTube or quitting it altogether, you should really think about that. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. Remember, YouTube tip videos are usually on Friday. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, create something awesome today.